And the next pattern that we're going to look at today is what we call the fearful perfectionist pattern. And that's, um, I've worked with a client who has this pattern quite strongly. So the perfectionist is, is looking at always having things perfect. They're really, really strong normally in bookkeeping, in back office systems, procedures, manuals, business planning, financial management, all of those sorts of things because they're very much in their logical side of their mind and they're really analytical. So this particular client um, really wanted to have a lot of control over what was going on in their business in order to make things really perfect. Now, of course, those um, the perfection means that things are done properly, they're documented, other people can come in and, and look at manuals and, and take over a role. So it's very, very helpful in the back end. However, um, there are challenges when it comes to um, being able to take chances or take risks. They're very much um, wanting to make sure that everything is done by the book. And so anything outside of the comfort zone or the normal systems or procedures that they have to deal with, there's um, a blind spot there, particularly in new ideas, um, marketing, really being able to move outside of the comfort zone within their business. Yeah. Gad, do you have any insight to the fearful perfectionist yeah. pattern? Yeah, yeah. I was just thinking about it and I was thinking about some clients that I've worked with and <clears throat> particularly um, a gentleman I worked with in, in the IT industry and something that I really got from working with him is that to the fearful perfectionist pattern, there's really with any, with any pattern or any part of your personality, there's a dysfunctional and a functional side. So when you look at the dysfunctional, functional side you look at that there's perfect systems you know they need the bookkeeping they need everything perfect but when you begin to see that the the awareness of the pattern you really can see that yes the dysfunctional side of the perfectionist is a b and c that in in your business and that's certainly you know can sabotage your business in terms of you're not going to have any growth if you're not if you're too scared to make decisions because it's not perfect but with an aware of that pattern you can move it into a very functional part of your business that really helps to excel in growth for example <clears throat> because perfectionists are always striving for perfect a lot of the time they don't set benchmarks around a lot of decisions that they make in business or a lot of systems that they have in business so if they start to set benchmarks and kpis and and different things that allow them to have a version of perfect then that moves it into functional territory but the, the the catalyst for that really is an awareness of where you're being dysfunctional so you can move that into functional territory yeah there's a, a client comes to mind as we talk about this and i had a conversation with them last week their staff actually run me and i, I think it's probably important to say that the fearful perfectionist pattern will often get triggered when the business owner is anxious so it would be yeah. a typical strategy i've got to get this perfect if i don't get this perfect Oh, you know, it, 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 and, and so that will tend to happen when they're starting to move outside of their comfort zone. And I had these staff ring me and say, Perry, I can't mention names, but such and such, they, 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 just, they just want to know everything at the moment. And when we tell them what, what, what we're doing, they want to inspect everything. And the questions are just driving us quite crazy and they're slowing the business down. Um, and again, in this example, this particular person because they had to make a whole bunch of decisions in this business and I've got to say this this business owner is surrounded by experts so the staff are experts now if it's me and I set experts up in my business I trust my experts but one of the things you'll find with most fearful perfectionists is there is mistrust deep on an unconscious level which is why they feel they have to know everything and get everything right and perfect and over research and so the basic context of this call was this person in the fearful perfectionist pattern is just a roadblock to, to business development. We're being slowed down. We know what we're doing. We know what we, we, we have to do to roll this out. The other thing that came to mind as we talked about, as we talked about the fearful perfectionist pattern is oftentimes, not always, but often a person with this pattern 
on an unconscious level has a, 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 a part of them that is deeply afraid of making a mistake because if they make a mistake they feel like they are a mistake and it's, it's yeah. typically a pattern they've carried right through life and, and one to really to, to watch out for and just coming back to say a key principle that we've all been talking about again you know if you've got a fearful perfectionist <laughs> I want a fearful perfectionist running my books <laughs> Okay, really important to understand that. I want a fearful perfectionist looking after client care systems. So none of these patterns we're talking about, as, as both Gab and, and, and Georgina have alluded to, are actually wrong in themselves. They just can become dysfunctional when they're being applied to the wrong place in, in, in business. So it can be a really good thing to, if you're a fearful perfectionist, to understand, well, you know what? Um, I'm going to stay in these roles because that's where a fearful perfectionist pre creates wonderful systems and accuracy and maybe I've got to go and partner or bring in a staff member that has, is far more creative and inspired and, and can operate from the gut and can operate conceptually um, for, for the areas of the business that need it. That's right, Perry. And, and one of the things that I think is really key around this pattern is that normally it's driven by a need for safety. Yeah. So there's, there's a feeling of uh, being outside of the comfort zone. Um, as you said, they become anxious. And when the uh, anxiousness sets in, there's a, a feeling of being unsafe or being too much at risk. So they want the structure to, to be set up around them to help alleviate those um, fearful feelings. Great. Well, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the fearful perfectionist pattern.